morning everybody, welcome to today's session, the first day of July which is crazy, um, I hope you all had a nice day yesterday, let's get started. So we're going to start with our neck stretches, again like we did yesterday, so tipping the head over to the side, taking the hand over to that ear, pulling the head down to the shoulder, reach the arm away. Deep breaths. We're swapping sides, tipping over, taking that head across, reach the arm away. One more time on each side, tipping over, arm away. Last time tipping over, reach the arm across. And relaxing there. Let's go into our stretch, uh, not our stretches, our breathing, sorry. So, laying on your back. Taking the knees, bent feet on the floor. And we want that neutral position, so we're curved underneath the lower spine. So it should be a, you should be able to just get your hand slightly underneath that gap between your back and the floor. From here, we're just going to start to take nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through a pursed lip. Breathing in. And out. And as you're taking those nice deep breaths in and out, I want you to think about, about that position of your hips. So you want to keep them nice and level. Imagine that you've got a torch on each hip bone and they're shining up parallel to one another onto the ceiling. We want to keep the upper body nice and relaxed. So the shoulders are away from the ears and the chest is nice and open. So we're keeping the weight evenly placed through the feet. So big toe, little toe and heel. Gently tightening through the tummy. As you breathe out, I want you to tuck the pelvis under so you're flattening that lower back into the floor. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to release out to neutral. We're tucking under to flatten. Holding here. Releasing out. So as we're tucking under, we're trying to find a nice strong flat back position. So we're using the tummy muscles 
and the pelvis to move. Try and avoid squeezing your bottom. this next one we're going to hold our flat back so we're tucking under to hold so stay in your flat back position we're going to start to tighten through the pelvic floor so as you breathe out you're tightening all the way in with the pelvic floor inhale to release exhale to tighten inhale to release So as you're tightening, you should feel as though you've got that sensation of stopping a wee mid-flow. Exhale to tighten. Inhale, release. You should feel like your tummy muscles are working harder. And that your back is slightly flatter into the floor. We're going to halve this contraction, so 50% tightening in the pelvic floor as you exhale, inhale to release. So you still want to keep this nice relaxed position through the shoulders to try and get them away from the ears so they open in the chest. And if you are feeling really tense, we're just going to turn those palms up towards the ceiling. We're pulling the tummy all the way down towards the spine. We're keeping the weight evenly placed through the feet. So big toe, little toe and heel. So 20 to 25 percent tightening. This should feel like a very gentle lifting. Something that you could sustain throughout any exercise if you needed to. It's just working in the background. So your flat back position should feel strong. You're using your tummy muscles and your pelvic floor to help you to stay there. We're bringing both legs up into tabletop, so your knee is above the hip, shins are parallel to the ceiling. We're going into toe tap, so we're tapping the toe down and lifting up, swapping sides, tapping down and lift. And lift. Tapping down and lift. Staying nice and relaxed in the upper body. Pulling that tummy down using your pelvic floor. Shoulders are away from the ears, deep breaths. Two more on each side, tapping down and lift. Tapping down and lift. Last one on each side, tapping down and lift. Tapping down and lift. Then we're going to hug those knees into the chest. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going on to our hands and knees for our stretch out through our back. Grab a drink if you need one. So we're going to 
take those hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Get that tummy nice and tightened here if you can. As you breathe out, we're going to tuck the pelvis under. So you start to curve the back. Arching the spine, we're dropping the head. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to release back to your start position through the spine. And your head is the last thing to lift. Tucking under to curve. Arching the back. Dropping the head. We hold. Releasing out through the spine, piece by piece. Lifting the head. So we want to get lots of movement through the back, working into each section of your spine piece by piece. So if you have any areas that feel really stiff or sore, we're just taking our time Move through them. Slowing anything down. If it's feeling a little bit clunky or sore. Working into each vertebrae one by one. So as you're curving your back, then you're pulling the tummy all the way in. As you release to your start position, let those shoulders come away from the ears and down the back. Let's take two more here, tucking under to curve. Arching the spine, dropping the head, we hold. Releasing out through to your start position. Lifting the head one more time. We're tucking under to curve. Arching the back. Dropping the head. We hold. Releasing out through the spine. Piece by piece. Lifting the head. And now we're pushing back into a shell stretch. So bottom to the feet. Reach those arms out in front. And then we're going to go on to our sides for our chest opening stretch. Grab a drink if you need one. Oh. Hay fever is bad today. So as you come onto your side, you want those legs stacked up on top of one another. You're resting your head down, you're taking your arms out nice and long, palm to palm. We will lift this top arm up so your fingertips are pointing to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, we're twisting away. Holding here to take a nice long stretch. Before lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. 
Lifting up, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, twisting away. We hold, and we lift back up and over to come down palm to palm. So you wanna keep those legs glued together and grounded, making sure this twist is coming through the waist. Want the arm to reach nice and long, stretch from the fingertips all the way into your armpit. Nice deep breaths. We're looking at that hand for as long as we can. Keep a good range of movement through the neck. Let's take two more here. We're lifting up, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, twisting away we hold. Before lifting up and over to come down palm to palm, last one. Lifting up, take the head, twisting away. We hold, before coming back up and over, to come down palm to palm. And here we're swapping sides. So you're just gonna lay yourself the other end of your mat or rolling yourself onto the side. So again, those legs are stacked, arms are reaching out, just dropping that head down. Top arm lifts, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, we're twisting away, holding here before lifting up and over. Bring the head with you to come back down, palm to palm. Top arm lifts, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you. We're twisting away, holding here as we stretch. Before lifting back up and over. To come down, palm to palm. So remember those legs are glued together, they're grounded. Making sure that twist is coming through the waist. Arm is stretching from the fingertips all the way into your armpit, getting that nice open position through your chest. We're taking nice deep breaths. Following that hand with your head. We want to try and get as much movement through both sides of the neck as well as we can. Two more here, we're lifting up, fingertips to the ceiling. Take the head with you, we're twisting away. Holding here the stretch. Before lifting up and over. To come down palm to palm. This is your last one, we're lifting up, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you. Twisting away, we hold. And we lift back up and over. To come down palm to palm. From there, roll onto your back and take a nice full body stretch. We're going to stay on our backs, but if you want to grab yourself a drink, then you can.
You'll have to excuse me if I'm moving a little bit slower than usual today. I went into this yesterday and I tried to march up Market Hill as if I wasn't pregnant and I'm suffering from it today. Um, but I'm fine. Not to worry, I'm just a little bit slower than usual. So on your back, Finding a nice neutral position. So when your knees bend, feet on the floor. You've got a slight curve under your lower back. Those arms are going to just come down beside you to begin with. We're taking a nice deep breath in to nod the head, chin to chest. Exhale to lift the shoulders off of the floor. Reach the arms nice and long. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to control yourself down onto the floor. Chin to chest. Lifting up. We hold. Control back down. Control back down. So you want your tummy muscles to be lifting, you're pulling your belly button all the way down. Your chin to chest position is there to keep that neck nice and relaxed, so think nice big nod of the head, then tighten the tummy to lift you. The arms are reaching long and away. Get those shoulders away from the ears. Gently tightening in the pelvic floor. We've got two more here, chin to chest. Lifting up, we hold. Control back down, last one here. Chin to chest, lifting up, we hold, control back down, <clears throat> excuse me, so from here, I want you to lift one foot from the floor, if you can look in the camera you'll see that my thighs are in line, so both of my hands are on the thighs, so you don't want this one to be lifted or to be dropped too far down, it doesn't matter if the knee is still bent, just try and get the foot off of the floor a little bit if you can. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So the rest of your movement stays the same. Breathe in to nod. Exhale to lift. We hold. Control the upper body down, but leave the leg where it is. Chin to chest. Lifting up. We hold. Control back down. The same lifting movement with the upper body, keep the tummy tight and use that chin to chest position. If your neck is sore, you can support the head. Make sure your hands are on your head, not on the neck, and you still use that nod. Two more here before we change sides. Chin to chest, lifting up. We hold, control back down, last one, chin to chest, lifting up, we hold, control back down. So place that foot down to the floor and you're swapping sides, lifting the other foot away from the mat. Again, breathe in, nod the head. Exhale to lift, we hold. Control back down, chin to chest, lifting up, we hold, control back down. It's the same as before, you're still using the tummy to lift you, but your chin to chest position. Keep my shoulders away from the ears. Nice deep breaths. If 
Let's take two more here. Chin to chest. Lifting up, we hold. Control back down, last one, chin to chest. Lifting up, we hold. Control back down from there, hug those knees into your chest. And then we're gonna be going onto either our fronts or onto your knees. Grab a drink if you need one. Just make sure I can get in shot without chopping off my head. Okay, so hopefully you can still see my legs against the black background. If you're, you, you don't like bearing weight on your knees, if you suffer from bad knees, um, then you can lay on your fronts. Um, it's just legs out nice and long, hands and that width apart in line with your ears. If you're happy on um, knees, then keep them nice and close together if you can, so you're underneath the hips. Um, and you're sitting nice and tall, sitting, kneeling nice and tall, sorry, through the body. Go shoulders down, so I said yesterday, about how my shoulders are currently looking a little bit rounded as the weight of my front is pulling me down a little bit. So I'm trying really hard to get that more open um, position. So if I look like I'm slouching a little bit, ignore what I'm doing and listen to what I'm saying. Um, if your lower legs tend to cramp up quite a lot, you can tuck those toes under, um, which should help with that a little bit, but if not, just rest them down. Really slight nod of your head. Try and just get that little relaxed neck so you're not flinging the head back. As you breathe in, you're going to tighten the tummy and start to lean away from the body, hinging at the knees. Exhale, squeeze your bottom, tummy still tightened to come back up. We're leaning away, lifting up. So your lean hasn't got to be very big, mine's quite small. This tummy should be tightened the whole time. So that squeeze of your bottom is going to support your lower back. Chest is nice and open. Two more here, then we'll add in some arms. Leaning back. Lifting up. Last one, leaning back. Lifting up. Okay, so whether or not you're laying on your front or you're kneeling, we're going to add the same arms in, same as we did yesterday. So you're going to take a nice big roll back of your shoulders, reaching your arms behind you. If you're laying on your front, that will lift you. If you're kneeling, then your arms, if you look at mine, are slightly further behind my body. Then you're going to lean back, squeeze to lift and relax. Roll the shoulders back and lean. Squeeze to lift. Tummy is still working the whole time. Your breathing might feel a little bit confusing now. Just breathe when you need to, but if you can, try and get that as you're lifting, it will help with the momentum. So we're opening up the shoulders and the chest, reaching those arms back. <sighs> Let's do two more here. Roll the shoulders back and lean. Last one, rolling back. And lean. Good. From there, push yourself back into a shell stretch. So bottom towards the feet. Reach those arms out in front. Good. From there, grab a drink if you need one. We're going to be doing the hundred. So you're going to be on your back when you're ready. Take 
So as you're laying on your back, you're going to be in a flat back position. Just have the knees bent, feet on the floor for now, and um, while we talk through what we're doing. So again, we're doing the same as yesterday, we'll just keep it the same all week. Um, but it doesn't matter if you haven't joined in um, on yesterday's class. So you're gonna find that nice, strong flat back position. So there's no gap underneath your lower spine. Your legs will then lift to tabletop. So that is knees above your hips, shins are parallel to the ceiling. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more there, you can start to bring your legs towards the floor. Try and keep those shins still parallel to the ceiling and maintain your flat back. If that's too much, just stick with that right angular boxy shape through the lower body. From here, if your neck isn't too sore, we're gonna be nodding the head, lifting the shoulders away from the floor with the arms nice and locked. So you're really gonna be changing where the palms are facing. So as you're breathing in, your palms will face the floor. As you breathe out, your palms will face the ceiling. Okay, so the arms will look like this. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Still for 100 repetitions, and I'll still count that three for you. Excuse me. From here, your hands are gonna come behind your head, and we're gonna go into two sets of eight, sitting up towards those legs, which should still be in tabletop. After that, you're gonna extend those legs as much as you can. Remember to where you're able to lift them to, so it doesn't matter if the knees are bent. Your arms reach long, and you're taking two sets of eight, reaching up towards the legs. If your neck is sore, one hand behind, one arm reaches for eight, and then you'll swap for the final eight. After that, you're hugging the knees in and full body stretch. We'll go all together um, so that we all know what we're doing. So find your strong flat back position. Once you've found that position, get those legs up to tabletop, so knees above the hips, shins are parallel to the ceiling. From there, we nod the head, lift those shoulders. Arms are nice and long. And we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, tummy in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, have it floor, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, halfway, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, tummy in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two more, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, from here, hands are behind those head, legs are still in tabletop, sitting up for eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, eight more, eight, seven, six, tummies in, five, four, three, two, one, you're going to reach those legs and arms up as long as you can, don't worry if there's a bend, sitting up for eight, seven, six, five, tummies in, four, three, two, one, last set, eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, relaxing there, hug those knees in. When you're ready, bring yourself out into a full body stretch. Good, from there, come up to sitting. Grab a drink if you need one. So we've got the same stretches that we did yesterday. So we did um, our walking forwards to stretch out our back and our arms with our legs crossed. Now as I said yesterday, I'm going to take crossed legged stuff out for myself 
because it's really aggravating um, my hip. So I'm happy to teach it still, but I'm just going to be doing something different. Um, so with that cross leg position, you want one leg under, one leg on top, like I've got with my hands here. I'm just going to take it in any position of my legs that I can maintain some comfortable seated position. Okay? So start with a, a seated um, cross leg position, nice and tall through the upper body. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to flash my belly there. <laughs> From here, I want you to just start to walk those hands forward. So you're going to be hinging through the hips. When you need to start to drop that head and hold that length forward, dropped position. And what we're going to do is that nice deep breathing that we sometimes do just to really centre ourselves, really control that breathing, get lots of oxygen through the body. So take nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through a pursed lip. Breathing in. And out. So what we want to have is a longer exhale than inhale. So you can inhale for two, out for four, or in for three, out for six, and so on. Excuse me. If you do have any questions on that length of time for breath, you can always drop me a message. So take that nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, try and walk those hands further forward to keep that head dropped. So you should also feel some degree of stretch through an area of the legs or the back or the arms. And the idea with that exhale is that you're pushing air out for as long as physically possible until you're forced to breathe in again. And that's how we make sure that we're really utilising our lung capacity and getting rid of that old air that's just sitting in your body and you're not fully using it. So we want to get rid of shallow breathing. Again, that nice deep breath in. Exhale, walk those hands forwards. I'm just sitting into this position. Dropping that head. One more breath in. Breathe out and walk those hands forwards. Sit yourself up. Take that moment to just bring yourself back, especially if you're feeling a little bit lightheaded. And then we're going to change the way the legs are crossed. I'll move to the side angle for this one. So I'm just going to be sitting up a little bit higher as well. So it's exactly the same for you. You're just changing which leg you're crossing in front and which leg is crossed behind. So remember again, you're going to sit up nice and tall through the body. Just start to walk those hands forward. So you're hinging through the hips. And then you're just going to drop that head, holding that position so you can take those nice deep breaths in and out. Breathing in. And out. Just letting that head really drop down. Got nice deep breaths, breathing in for longer than you're exhaling. Excuse me. Again, breathing in 
exhale, walk those hands further forwards. <coughs> Continue here with your deep breath. Dropping that head. Nice deep breath in. Breathing out, walk those hands forward. Take a nice deep breath in. As you're breathing out, walk those hands back in, sitting yourself up. Take that moment just to come back into the room, especially if you're feeling like heavy, if you're not used to that deep breathing, and grab yourself a drink. Good. Okay, then if you're usually using weighted items for your arm exercises, you'll need to grab those because we're going to do our arm sequences. So that can be anything from small dumbbells to kettlebells um, or even um, baked bean tins if you prefer. It doesn't matter if you're not using weights, and I say that every single time, but I don't want anyone to feel like they should, should be or have to use weights. Um, so you can be standing here if you don't like bearing weight for your knees. If not, we're in a knelt position. It's completely up to you which one you prefer. <clears throat> so we're going to be going into arm circles forwards, arm circles back, lifting the arms up, pushing the arms down, pushing forwards, pushing back. You're going to do eight of each, then we'll rest, and then we'll go again. Okay? So wherever you're in position, make sure you're tall through the upper body. So we're going to lift those arms out to the side. We're circling forwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forwards for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back for <coughs> six, five, sorry, four, three, two, one. Rest those arms down. Sorry, my hay fever is so bad today. Okay, we're going to go straight into that again. I'll try not to sneeze. Bring those arms up. Circle forwards for eight, seven, six, five, breathe four, three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, forwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest those arms down. Just take a moment, we'll go into another arm exercise. Good, so from here, we're going to go into our lifting up, oh, a bit closer to that, lifting up and down across a set of eight, up a set of eight, down twice, rest, and then we're going again. So that I stay in shot and my knees don't die from being on the hard surface, I'm going to sit, um, 
but you can stand, kneel, sitting if you really have to, but it just doesn't let you get those arms right down the side. Oh, I can sit on this actually. Problem solved. Yeah, that works. Okay. So from here, <coughs> arms are resting down. We're lifting up four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a moment's rest. We're going again, here we go. Lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, from there we're gonna be on our hands and knees. We're still doing arms, so if you wanna keep those weights, then you can. If not, it doesn't matter, we'll go without. So this is one we've done a little bit recently. It's a fairly new one that I've put in. So it's on our hands and knees, and we're lifting our weight or our hand in towards our hip. I'm gonna show you front on, with and without a weight so you can see what I'm doing. So, normal hands and knees position. If your wrists get really, really sore, you can come onto your forearms, but you'll have less movement. So just bear that in mind. From here, if you're using a weight, you only need one. You'll grab hold of it as we're staying on the same side. What we're doing is lifting the arm or the hand into the hip. So if I turn side on, my hand is coming into my hip here, but my elbow is tucked in. So as I lift, if you watch me, it's almost as if I ha you can't see my elbow because it's tucking in the whole time. You can, of course, do that without a weight. As you're lifting your arm to your hip, I want you to think about nipping your shoulder blades in together and pulling your belly button into your spine. Okay, so this is a row. You can do this with standing up or bent over row. This is a really good one to just really concentrate on that arm movement. So we do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. And if we have time, we'll do 10 and 10 again. So I'll do one side with the weight and one side without. Okay, so on those hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Tighten that core, bracing yourself. Here we go, we're lifting up and down, lift, and down, knit the shoulders in, and down, breathe, and down, lift, and down, halfway, tuck in, and down, in, and down, in, and down, two more, lift, and down, lift, and down. From there you're swapping sides, the weight will go into the other hand. Here we go, lifting up, and down, Lift and down, lift and down, lift and down, pull tummy in and down, halfway and down, breathe and down, lifting up and down, last two, lift and down, lift and down. Just have a little rest, shake those wrists out. We're definitely going to do each one one more time. Remember, you can drop onto this forearm, so just be restricted on your movement. I'll go side on this time so you can see a little bit better where the position is of my hand if you need to. So if you're using a weight, grab hold of it. It doesn't matter if you're not. Here we go, lifting up and down. Lift and down. Drive and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Halfway, nip and down. Nip and down, breathe and down. Two more, lift and down, lift and down. Sort of sides with that weight if you're using it. 
and we lift and down, lift and down, breathe and down, and down, and down, and down, halfway, lift and down, lift and down, lift and down, last two, lift and down, lift and down, relaxing there, Stretching back, roll through the wrists. You can go into a shell stretch if you want to. And grab a drink. Okay, we're staying on our hands and knees. Of course, if those wrists are sore, drop onto your forearms. knees and the hips, this time those toes are tucked under. So like I said, if your wrists are sore, you're down onto those forearms and that's just going to help to relax them. Um, uh, you're going to have to try, we want to try and transition through the wrists in the plank, so if you know that you need that little bit of extra support for later, then rest them now. As you breathe out, pull your tummy all the way in towards your spine. Press down into your hands and your feet, and you're going to lift your knees off, just an inch or so. Inhale down. Exhale to lift. And down. <clears throat> Lifting up. And down. Lifting up. And down. So think tummy's lifting you here. Hands and feet are just there for support. You want to keep the head in line with the rest of your spine. So if you're on long arms, then think of just looking past those fingertips. And if you're on your forearms, you're just looking straight down to your mat. Try not to look all the way up, lifting the head or dropping the head down. That's going to put pressure through your spine. Let's take four more here. We're lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. Last two, lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. Relax there, roll those wrists. <clears throat> so we're gonna go into planks. If you joined in yesterday, then you already know what's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. If not, then what we're doing is uh, similar to last week, so from your forearms up into high arms, then we're going to try and come back down. So I'll demo through, but on my knees, if you need to watch. If not, you can do it with me as I talk. So start on your forearms. Remember, they're parallel to one another. Don't crisscross them over. Make sure you're at the front of your mat. You're going to take one leg out long and behind you, place your weight into those toes. The other leg comes out to join it. And you want to tuck yourself under to find your nice long plank position. Lean into one arm to take one hand under your shoulder. Push yourself up. Find that nice high plank position. Take a breath in and out. And if you can, come down onto one forearm, down onto the other. Breathe in and out. And relax there. So you're transitioning basically from to three planks. Low, high to low. So step back, step back. We're tucking forwards. Lean. Lift, lift. Strong plank. Lower, lower. And relaxing down there. Keep going here at your own time. If, like last week, you weren't able to lift up, so you're coming from your forearms just to halfway, you couldn't quite lift yourself all the way up. Go for that again, then come back down. Then try the other side and come back down. So you're still getting those three transitions and we're working on building and lifting that strength through the upper body. As you come into that first plank, squeeze your bottom, pull your tummy in. You're leaning over, taking that hand under the shoulder, push up. So if you leave your hands too far in front, you'll, be, you'll find it so difficult to lift 
to lower yourself down. To the point on your forearm, is the upper arm under your shoulder. As you transition, step that hand all the way back to underneath your shoulder. Same when you come back down, get the forearm down. If you're chucking under too much, you haven't got room to be in your plank. You need to make sure as you step into that plank, straight away you're in that nice long line. So get your bottom in line with the rest of your body. As you push yourself up, don't leave your bottom behind. Make sure that as you're lifting up, if your hips are too low, you're going to put pressure through your spine. Get it lifted. So the difficulty here is making sure you're getting your whole body in a strong plank position through each transition. Squeeze. Pull that tummy in. And make sure you're breathing. If you're breathing, it will help. We're going to take two more here. Stepping back. Stepping back, find that strong plank, lean, lift yourself up, strong plank, come down, down, and relax, just got one more here, step back, step back, tuck under into that nice plank position, lean, push up, up, we hold, down, down, and relaxing there. Stretch yourself back, roll out through those wrists. Well done, that is a hard plank, but I know that you're all strong. Um, I'm, I'm looking to build up strength too, which is important. Okay, you can either be seated, kneeling or standing, whatever is the most comfortable for you. We're just going to go into our finishing stretch. I'm actually going to sit on this to make me more comfortable in my hips. So from here, I just want you to roll those shoulders back. So think of opening up through that chest. And forwards. Take your arms out to the side. We're going to lift one arm up. And we're reaching over. Come back to the centre. Lifting up. Reaching over. One more time on each side. Lift up. Reaching over. Lifting up. Reaching over and relaxing there. That is the end of today's session. Thank you so much for joining me today um, for Pilates class. I cannot believe that we're in July. I think I said yesterday, I think it's over 100 days now that we've been in lockdown. Um, I've had a few people who started to ask me how much longer I'm gonna be doing these sessions for. I know from the beginning I said I would do these for as long as I possibly can, but I'm thinking that I'll realistically be able to do these until around 30 weeks. So that's another two months. I'm obviously just gonna play it by ear and see how I feel, but I will let you know as far in advance as I can if I'm planning on stopping. So please don't panic, there'll be classes available. There's obviously also the ones on, um, my Facebook page, WD Fitness, on my personal page, Miranda Whiting, from all the previous sessions, and on my YouTube page, which is again, Miranda Whiting, they're all up there. So if you do wanna go back to any of those, you can, if you can't find those links, um, drop me a message or comment, and I will share that with you so that you can find them. Um, so yeah, I will let you know if I'm planning on stopping. Please don't feel like I'm just gonna not turn up one day and leave you in the lurch. Um, these sessions are as good for me as they are for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll give you lots of notice, so please don't worry about that. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see lots of you for the rest of the week or into next week. Um, take care. Bye-bye.